We got a nice, nice. Uh, we got a right bunch on the engine. Um, it is number. Is it number eight? Yes, it is. It's uh, number eight. It was fi finished in 2010. Named Rodwell after the local villages in Weymouth. Isn't that nice? All these engines have. They're named after yeah. something. Have we got a little? Oh, it's on the other side. That's. So, is it number 19 in the programme? And um, <laughs> this is Rob driving, and this, this is similar to Steve's engine. It's a twin crank compound, but it's actually got a canopy on the top. And it, it's owned by the fam, uh, Faisy family, and um, Dan's normally carrying some passengers, and later on he'll probably give out some rides. Thank you, Daniel. Oh, this is James the Steam Apprentice. <laughs> it's, it's hitchhiked to ride. So this is a half-size single crank engine, Jubilee. Owned by Pete uh, Redfern, and same again, it's a single crank, so basically the steam goes in, it gets used once, goes up the chimney and goes chuff. And, and, and we got a little whistle there as well. Thanks Pete. Okay, this is a half size McLaren, it's a twin crank compound road loco, owned by the Pierce brothers and obviously the ladies of the house too. <laughs> And believe it or not, we got a dog on the back. Now this dog has done some miles. Uh, the, the engine's called Sir James as well, fully spurned as well. It takes quite a, quite a few passengers. And if you look underneath, it's got the pull bar on there if anybody breaks down. And it does get used occasionally. Okay, next up, your absolutely uh, agricultural engine. And it's a four and a half. This Jerry's been doing this for some time now, so and he's picked up some passengers, look, and that's what it's all about. Everybody enjoying it. past me now is a great engine. Old tin. And you can see what it said on the side. It used to be owned by Screen Brothers of Birmingham. Um, and all these sort of engines, although they look Lovely on the on the show field. It must have been 20 or nearly 30 years ago now. Old Tim was still presented in its uh, working clothes, hasn't been restored, but obviously it got to the stage. Uh, I think we shall see Old Tim again later when we do the um, double roll. Coming along here now is the first of the rollers that we have. This will be an Aveling and Porter. R10 roller. R10 just is the number of it was given by, by the works. Uh, we've got about, I think three or four R10 rollers in the steam line up today, which shows what a really good design they actually were. This particular one was new to Edison's in um, 1905. Uh, moved from there to Wiltshire County Council and from them to Buncombe's at Highbridge. And it worked uh, continuously with Buncombe's until at least 1963. Later on, uh, judging by the collecting box, it is uh, fairly obvious in it. Going around the inside there, at um, slightly faster speed than some, is, is another uh, uh, roller, not one of the R10s. This was a purchased by Bob Bell some time back and it was purchased as a, well, a box of a kit of parts basically. I spent much time putting it all back together and he's going round today showing you what the rulers can do. Passing me now is um, three years ago and they've recoupled it with the Foden 
um, thrashing drum it was used with originally and it's nice to know that you know something like that is back in the family having been there it's known as a King Sedgemoor just going past the commentary position is yet another evening <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.